guys, it's Jay here from LazyEyesStoner.com and today I'm going to prove to you that setting up a website doesn't have to be complicated or expensive. In fact, I'm going to show you how you can set up a fully functioning, great looking website in under 10 minutes by using a very popular content management system called WordPress. Now you don't have to be a computer whiz or have any fancy equipment or special software to set up blogs and websites using WordPress. You just need two things. The first thing you need is a domain name. Now this is just the web address that people will go to to find your site. So for example, Google's domain name is google.com and yours can be whateveryouwant.com. You can pick up domain names for less than $10 a year so they're really cheap. The second thing you'll need is a web hosting account. This will give you a place to store your website so that it's accessible to people on the internet. Hosting costs around $8 a month, but I'm going to show you how you can get your first month of web hosting for next to nothing. Now both of these things are extremely easy to get, so here's how you do it. So the first thing we want to do is register a domain name. Now to do this, we just head over to Namecheap.com. Namecheap is where I like to get all of my domains from. They're just cheap and very reliable. Once you're on the Namecheap website, just enter the domain name that you want into the search box and click search. So if I wanted to set up a website about bite tricks and I wanted to call my site Uber Bite Tricks, I would just type in Uber Bite Tricks and then click the search button. Next, it will tell you if the domain name you're after is available or if someone else has already registered it. It will also tell you the availability of the different types of domains, including .net, .org, .info and all the other variations out there. So if the .com version of the domain name that you want is already taken, chances are you might be able to get the .net or .org version instead. Once you've found an available domain name that you want to use, just hit the Add to Cart button, followed by the Checkout button, and you'll then be asked to create a Namecheap account by choosing a username and password. Once you've done that, you'll be asked to enter a few contact details, and then after that you'll be taken to a page with the title Domain Options. Now on this page, there's a few different options that you can choose between, but you really don't need to do anything just now, so just click the next step button to continue. Finally, just choose a payment method. You can either pay with your credit card or with a PayPal account, and once your payment has been processed, you now officially own that domain name. So the next thing we need to do is get ourselves a hosting account. Now I've tried quite a few different hosting services before, but none of them have been quite as good as a company called HostGator.com. These guys are really cheap, they offer great support, and I've never actually had a single problem with them ever. And I've been using them to host my websites for years. So what you want to do is head over to HostGator.com and click the big button labelled View Web Hosting Plans. You'll then see a few different plans on offer, but I strongly recommend choosing the baby plan in the middle. It only costs around $8 a month and it allows you to host as many websites on the one account as you want. So even if you wind up setting up 10 different websites, you'll still only be paying $8 a month. Once you click the order now button, you'll be taken to the next page where it will ask you to enter your domain name. So in the box on the right hand side that says I currently have a domain name, just enter the domain that you've just registered. So for my example, I would enter uberbitetricks.com. Now below this box, you also see a section where you can enter a coupon. Now I've actually got a really awesome coupon for you that will give you your first month of web hosting for one cent. So you've got a whole month to try it out for pretty much nothing. To get this discount, just enter the coupon Dirt Cheap Host, all one word, and then click the Continue to Step 2 button. Next, you'll be asked to choose a username and a security pin, and then to enter your payment details. Once again, you can either pay by credit card or PayPal. Once your payment is completed, you now have everything you need to set your website up. So what we need to do next is go back to Namecheap.com to link your domain name to your new hosting account. So to do this, just log into your Namecheap account 
and head over to the domain section that's located up the top. We then want to click the Manage Domains link. You'll then be taken to a page with a list of your domain names, so just click the one that you've just registered. Then, in the menu on the left hand side, click the link that says Transfer DNS to Web Host. You'll then see a few text boxes where you can enter what are called name servers. Basically, these just tell Namecheap where your website is located. Now this might look a little bit confusing the first time that you see it, but it's actually quite simple. To get your name servers, just open a new window and check your email inbox for the email that HostGator will have sent you after creating an account with them. In this email, you'll see a line that says first name server followed by an address and then another line below it that says second name server with another address. So what you want to do is just copy the first name server address and then go back to your Namecheap window and paste it into the text box marked 1. Then copy the second name server address from the email and paste it into the text box marked 2. Then just hit save changes and your domain name and hosting account are now linked. Now all we need to do is set up our website and the way we are going to do that is with a system called WordPress. WordPress is a blogging software that allows you to easily create and manage your website. Don't worry if you actually want more than a blog because WordPress is extremely flexible and is actually a whole content management system that can be turned into almost any kind of website that you want. So to set up WordPress, just head back to the email that you received from HostGator and look for the line that says your control panel and click the link next to it. You'll then be asked to enter your hosting username and password which you can also find in the email. Now once you're logged into your control panel, you'll see a ton of different features, but the one that you need is the little smiley face that's labelled Fantastico Deluxe. Fantastico is an add-on that comes with HostGator that allows you to quickly and easily install all kinds of different software, including WordPress, in just one or two clicks. Once you're in the Fantastico section, look for the WordPress option in the left hand menu and click it. Then click the new installation button. Then you'll see a few text boxes for you to fill out. Leave the first box blank and enter a username and password in the next two boxes. Then in the last few boxes enter a nickname, an email address, a website name and a website description. When you're done, click the Install WordPress button and then the Finish Installation button and now your website is ready to rock and roll. On the confirmation page, you'll see a link to your admin area along with the username and password that you just created to access it. So make sure you save these or write them down somewhere. Now when you type in your domain name, you should see your brand new WordPress site. Obviously, the website looks a little bland at the moment, but if you head over to your website's admin area, which should be located at yourdomain.com slash wp admin, then you can log in with the username and password that you created, and you'll be able to access your website's administrator section. And this is where you can do all that cool stuff like customising the look and feel of your website as well as adding new content to it. For example, to change the look of your website, just head over to the appearance section and click the themes button. Then click the install themes option at the top and from here you'll be able to search through thousands of different themes that you can instantly apply to your website. Once I've found a theme that I like, I would just click the install button and then the install now button and finally I would click activate. Now my new theme will be applied and if I go to my website I can see it. You can also find thousands of other cool WordPress themes that are free to download just by doing a Google search for WordPress themes. To add content to your website just head over to the post section and click the add new button and you can now write a header and some text. You can add some images if you want with this button. 
And when you're done, just click the Publish Now button. Now obviously there are a ton of other cool features in the admin section that allow you to completely customise and pimp out your WordPress website. They're all very user friendly and the best way to get familiar with it is just to play around with it. Check out all the features and get to know how they work and in no time at all you'll be comfortable and fluent with using WordPress to build websites. So that's how you set up an awesome website in under 10 minutes. Now the first time you do this process it might take a little bit longer but once you get the hang of it you'll see just how quick and easy this stuff really is. For more information on making money online and websites and all that cool shit check out my blog at lazyheartstoner.com.